next part to look for is how do we diagnose it properly. We did the range of motion in some of the examination we did just did uh, in the first part of the video. Now we look at the overall x-rays. We want to take x-rays that rule things in, but also rule things out. Look at the shoulder first, the shoulder x-ray. This is our normal x-ray here, okay? Someone's shoulder where we took the x-ray and actually was pretty good. The shoulder joint, you see the very top bones here to where the two bones should meet and should be even, not on top of each other where one's above and one's below. On the second x-ray, you'll see actual bone spur on top of that bone, so these two bones here, the one on the inside, one on the outside, you'll see a little bone spur on top. Again, that's a problem where he had previous injuries. Um, his work requires a lot of lifting too, so that developed over time. He has to have surgery for that, and he actually had surgery, uh, Mr. Pisano, and, uh, and, and sure got really well from him. He was back to work, but I think within three months after the surgery, so he's doing okay. If the shoulder's okay, the x-rays look good, everything looks good there, the next part I look for is where the pain is coming from causing shoulder pain, so the underlying cause will be the overall neck. Okay, the neck curve we talked about a second ago. So if the shoulder has problems to where it's painful here, and sometimes there can be trauma, no trauma involved, and the shoulder looks like this too, we look for does the neck come forward? Okay, is the overall posture been, been compromised because of their work, because of their stress, because they sit too much? So we look on this one, is look at the second x-ray, it's called the neck x-ray. This is, this is a side view of the overall neck. This x-ray should be like in this normal x-ray here, is have a normal curve, okay? The curve itself should come backwards, so you see the facial bones in the front, and also the back of the skull too there. On the uh, other parts, you wanna see a normal smooth curve coming through, and you wanna see normal disc space between the bones. So you have the bones here, a space between, and bone below again too. So you wanna make sure that sequence of a bone, space, and bone underneath is happening all the time, okay? So if that's a normal x-ray, you'll see this x-ray now. This is a straight neck. This is a neck to where, because of what's going on, the neck has come forward this way, posturally, but also structurally, where now the bones are coming forward to form a nice, not nice, but to have normal curve in this, a normal straightness in the overall spine, okay? In this one, what can happen is the bones can actually lock up. When that happens, they actually make it, the nerve get pinched in the neck. When it gets pinched, at that point, the disc has swollen, and when the disc swells, it pinches the nerve, causing the problems that go down the arm. So in this, in this image, what you'll see is that nerve being pinched that runs from the neck down the arm into the hand itself. We talked about a second ago how it causes hand numbness and weakness and tingling and burning and cause that to happen. It's being pinched from the neck, okay? In the second x you'll see too where it pinches down the back. So back here again, it runs down there. So if this problem <clears throat> occurs in the neck, it can actually run all the way down from the neck, down the arm, down the back, causing those symptoms. 